we already discussed about components in angular so let us build our uh, navigation uh, with a uh, component so let's go to the bootstrap website and bring the navigation design from here if you go to the documentation just search for the navbar here so we'll go to the navbar and take one of those example as you know i will just close some of these files we have here going to the source now we have our elements and we have the navbar inside the html we have our navbar but it is not pretty so what i'm going to do is going to take this navigation on all its code from here and i'll just paste it here all the way down so i will save it now we have our navigation like this if i come to our application it should look just fine because in the previous videos we discussed about the uh, elements uh, about the component and how you can create them and now as you can see it will look a lot better for our application you can change the color of the navigation of course that is alert uh, the bootstrap feature if you come down i'm not sure where is yeah here is the color and you can just use the any color you want let's say you you will use the second the second one the bg dark and the background is primary so i will come up here as you can see the bg should be primary i will save it okay it's fine and it will refresh sometimes it just take a little while to refresh now as you can see everything look just fine uh, i know it does not look pretty of course you can change some of the thing here uh, for example you can just remove the bg light here that way it should look better next up let's uh, uh, add some padding for the our page here okay we have changed something very badly it is fine and we are using uh, the, the navbar light that's why it just removed the style next thing as i said we go to our component here the app component and these are the things we are displaying the home page here so i will just take everything to the center as you might know we will put everything to the center by using the dot container class of the burst the twitter bootstrap so i'll just take them and put them inside this one now i will save it here is the navbar the navbar should not be inside the container because it is just fine if i refresh the page as you can see it will look just fine i think this is all we need to know for now in the next video we will discuss more about the feature more features of angular js so see you in the next